All right, so guys, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, everything you need to know is the videos by GameSpot. Let's get to the video. From its campaign to multiplayer and evolution of zombies, I can't wait till this comes out. Zone, here's everything you need to know about Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Let's get it started! Modern Warfare 3 will have a full campaign that picks Obviously. up immediately where the story left off in Modern Warfare 2, and as previously teased in the first Modern Warfare 3 trailer, it'll focus on Vladimir Makarov, who you might remember the as the demon. main antagonist of the original Modern Warfare franchise. A post credit scene in Modern Warfare 2 teased another no-Russian-like attack, oh, potentially no. sending Task Force 141 off to avoid the World War III scenario that happened before these reboots. Yep. The story has been described by Activision as having more player choice than ever before, with operations ranging from signature cinematic experiences to freeform open combat missions. These oh, open really? combat missions will give players numerous additional choices regarding their methods for completing missions. For example, oh. you can pick stealth techniques and equipment for a sneaky approach or explosive equipment yeah, I'm going and explosive. extra armor to go into a mission know we don't do that. with guns blazing. We saw an example of this know we don't, we don't do this, this, this stealthy assault on a prison including swimming, a stealthy assault using night vision goggles, a repelling section, and a prison break. Bro, that prison break mission, I can't, I can't wait to see that, bro. For the first time in Call of Duty history, a vast amount of content from the previous game, including weapons, operators, attachments, camos, cosmetics, and more, will transfer over to the new base game, oh, letting yeah. you bring all the things from Modern Warfare 2 into Modern Warfare 3. Activision says a small amount of content may be unavailable if gameplay offerings are different in the upcoming title, okay. such as specific vehicles or equipment, and the music from Modern Warfare 2 will not carry forward to the new game. I mean, it All makes sense, unlocked yeah. operators and skins will carry forward into Modern Warfare 3, including those unlocked via challenges or purchased through bundles. But the Modern Warfare 2 I'm glad that Modern Warfare 3 has like the original maps or something Warfare like that. For I'm glad. I, I like that a lot. Warfare 2. And so that skin, pool, that gun, that skin. Oh my god, that's gonna be nice. I can't lie. Three players, and terminal looks good too. Associated unlock challenge must be completed before it becomes accessible in the new game. Any blueprints also carry forward, and certain Modern Warfare 2 blueprints will be available via store bundles for purchase in three. Additionally, Activision announced that Call of Duty will have one unified hub for games moving forward called Call of Duty HQ. You'll be able yeah. to use the hub to access Modern Warfare 2, Warzone Modern Warfare 3, and future Call of Duty content all in one place. Okay, that's nice. Multiplayer! It's going to be a year of nostalgia, uh -oh. as all 16 maps from 2009's Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 have been remastered from Modern Warfare 3's launch. Nice, let's These go! These classic maps will be updated with new gameplay features Invasion. and new game modes. I, bro, I love Invasion. More than Favela, Skid Row, Skid Row's nice. High Rise is cheesy. Will arrive the states Modern Warfare uh, through post-launch seasons. I know, there will I don't be like three that one. Battle maps uh, available specifically for large-scale ground war modes, and one colossal size uh, map for the objective-based war mode, which was originally introduced in Call of Duty World War. I II. can't wait to see map Terminal, bro. Is also confirmed to return. Terminal Modern Warfare Three is going to bring back the classic minimap, which means that red dots will appear when enemies Thank fire God. unsuppressed weapons. Thank God. In recent Call of Duty games, the minimap hasn't shown the position of enemy players if they used unsuppressed guns. And so you had to rely more heavily on the UAV streak to get the additional map intel. The classic perk system returns Okay, like the boots year, and stuff and the like only that? only major difference is perks will be based on wearable gear such as gloves, tactical the vests, whole wearable and gear thing, it, they do not modify an operator's right. appearance in-game, and instead the gear types just serve as perk categories. For example, the gloves category includes perks related to adjusting weapons yeah. and equipment handling. And boots are gear that offer perks to enhance your yeah, like these boots and, and gloves and something like that. It's a new Modern Warfare thing, so. 3 will feature over 30 weapons, and this weapon pool will include unique mastery camos to unlock. The gunsmith customization I can't wait feature to, uh, to see the MP5 customization with attachments and detailed weapon tuning. This year's gunsmith adds new layers to customization. Wait a minute, with what did I just see? Stats for each attachment and the addition of new aftermarket parts that can be unlocked for great Wait, did I just see a pistol turn into One a submachine gun? Is that Modern Warfare 3's heaviest light machine gun has a bullpup conversion kit, which allows the beefy light machine gun to be lightened and better used for a run and gun playstyle. 
Uh oh, Warzone, Warzone 3. Urzikstan is the new Warzone map for Modern Warfare 3, and it's an urban type battlefield featuring 11 major points of interest. Urzikstan okay. will be playable for both Battle Royale and Plunder modes, and it will join Warzone's existing Vondel and Ashika Island resurgence maps. Additionally, oh my God, Reaper a new Reaper version of back. Warzone Ranked will come in 2024, oh, as will the Fortune's Keep and Rebirth Island maps. Activision describes the map as being smaller but more dense than El Masra and Caldera. Nice. Uzbekistan has a number of distinct urban zones with a river running through the middle and also features From some screenshots that I've seen, they have like a lot of buildings and stuff, so I'm excited for that too. Zones history. There are also horizontal zip lines, another new feature which should help players Wait, evade horizontal zip and lines run really map faster. There are three new perks for Urzikstan as well, including Shrouded, which tosses a smoke grenade when a player is down to help stay alive longer. Another new perk is called Irradiated, which allows you to move faster and take less damage in the gas. Okay. The third is Resolute, and this increases movement when injured. There is also a new Gulag for Urzikstan. It sports a three-lane setup and includes a vertical ascender that you yeah. can use to win the match if it makes it to overtime. The new Gulag features some randomization. Okay, that's a hard. Nighttime version where players get night vision goggles. So if the time runs out, a line, a zip line will come up. All you gotta do is see the For zip the line. First time, zombies that's hard. The Modern Warfare series. This won't be traditional round-based zombies, but instead an open world. I wonder experience if you can shoot them off the zip line. Though. Elements and PVE extraction. Following the events of Black Ops Cold War's Dark Ether narrative, Operation Deadbolt was created in response to the outbreak events witnessed by oh, yeah, we, we actually reacted to during the events of the Cold War. With Operation Deadbolt, Task Force 141 must stop Viktor Zakaev, an antagonist for Modern Warfare 2019, who has created a zombies outbreak using I a knew he looked a little familiar, but I couldn't... This I couldn't, zombie like, creating substance is much like the tell dark his name. ether crystals from the previous storyline, but it's now been processed into an even deadlier form. And Task Force 141 must uncover Zakaev's full plans for the outbreak and Ethereum. Modern Warfare's Kate Laswell is leading the operation alongside Johnny Soap McTavish, and they yeah. brought in zombie specialist Captain Sergei Ravenov, who is the Spetsnaz operative aligned with Requiem in the fight against Omega Group in Black Ops Cold oh. War's zombie storyline. Activision's blog post says this iteration of zombies includes both living and undead enemies, with the threat from the living being Which the is terminus cheese, though, because I don't want, like, I don't want to be fighting zombies and then have, like, seize, have these muscle. robots Modern out of here. Warfare 3 zombies That's takes place in Warzone's brand new Bots, Urzikstan map. This mode can be played solo or with a squad, and players can join up with other teams as matches feature up to eight squads of three. Bro. While this is much more like a large scale extraction mode, I like it though. Still include I like it already. Features such as the mystery box, perk machines, pack a punch, and a new one. It's basically weapon. a big zombies we'll have mode. To wait basically. and see if zombie players will get the kind of Easter eggs and main quest they've come to expect. But several boss looking monsters do appear in the trailers. Release date and price. I think the price is going to be like $70. Releases on November 10th for PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, and PC. The regular edition will set you back $70, and pre ordering Modern Warfare 3 will come with a few perks, including seven days early access to the game's campaign and the Soap Operator DLC pack. Okay. which includes two character skins and a weapon blueprint. PlayStation owners will get exclusive, exclusive access yep, to the Lockpick yep. Operator, yep. as well as the American Gothic SMG and Starry Knife. The Vault Edition costs $100, which includes all the pre-order bonuses and the Black Cell Season 1 Battle Pass. Man, Macro with like 50 tier skips like and other bonuses. Demon. The Nemesis Operator Pack, which includes skins for Ghost, Warden, Price, and Makarov and two free weapon vaults. There's an exclusive Walmart bundle for this? $150, which includes a physical copy of the game yeah. and a collector's box filled I with I love getting physical copies of games, especially new games. I don't know why. Poster, and a bronze washed resin wall plaque of Ghost. That's everything you need to know That's everything, about Call of Duty. Shout Modern out Warfare to GameSpot, 3. man. Make sure to keep your eyes peeled to GameSpot for more on the game, including our reviews. Shout out to everybody. Shout out to everybody that was included into the review and stuff like that. I'm excited for the game to come out. Uh, it's been a long time since the trailer came out um, earlier this year. Um, I, I really got nothing else to say, man. I mean, I, 
I'm excited, man. Uh, Makarov is back. The diabolical demon. Makarov is back. Um, here's the thing, right? Knowing how, you know, I'm excited for, see, we don't know, though. They just, they probably just teased it off just to, like, you know, just to, like, get everybody on edge. But I'm talking about the, uh, the like, the no Russian mission. I'm excited for that mission. Um, am I expecting no Russian to be, like, like, am I expecting it to be, like, how it was and, like, you know, like, like back in the, you know, back then? No. I'm not, a, I'm not expecting it to be, like, no Russian back then. Um, I mean, I would just assume that, see, how are they going to do it? Because in the world that we live in today, I don't think they're going to do the same thing that they did, like, years ago. I, and, and, and maybe that's just me saying that, right? I, I don't expect them to do that. And, you know, it, it if listen, if they don't, it's fine. I'm not here. Oh, well, Call of Duty, you guys did it. No, I'm not. Listen, I... No, um, it's just it will be crazy if they did. I, it it will be very unexpected. Let's just say that because uh, you know I, I I just don't see Call of Duty pulling that off nowadays. Obviously, you know, and I feel like if they did pull it off, a lot of people you know would would try to make up these weird comparisons. We, bro, we know how people think, bro. Especially on the internet, man. People will, they will you know they they will go head over heels if they see a video game scene that's deemed too graphic or too harsh or whatever then people will try to speculate and people will try to compare video games to real life and and all this and all that bro i mean and so this is why i say I, I don't even see them you know pushing the barrier because a few years ago people didn't care you know people just was pe people were blown away i was blown away bro it, like bro that legit just like bro like playing a no russian mission bro that froze me up you know, and um, not in a bad way, but like it was just like, bro, like I never thought a video game would be able to do that. And um, and I was a kid at the time, you know, I like like obviously nothing happened to me. Nothing influenced me. But that's how some people are going to think nowadays. You know, um, if Call of Duty was to release the no Russian mission, you know, in a different way, you know, some people are going to. Oh, well, this is horrible for video, for video game, bro. Is that thunder? Oh, that's thunder. Okay, cool. Bro, I thought somebody was knocking at the door. But, yeah, um, that's how people think, though. You know, nowadays, bro, people are going to, um, oh, my God. I can only imagine. Because a few years ago, whenever the, the uh, No Wrestling Mission came out, um, bro, it was on the news. Did y'all know that? Bro, I would literally turn on the TV. I promise you I remember this. It was It's crazy. When a No Wrestling Mission happened years ago, bro, and I turned on the news, and they were saying, oh, my God, um... Uh, video game Call of Duty showed this harsh mission and da -da -da -da. bro, I was like, wait a minute, wait, a, what are they doing? And then you have these people that never played a video game in their life. I'm talking about uh, like the news people, right? You have these news people that never played a video game in their life. Talking about some, ah, oh, see, this is a, these are the dangers of video games. Da -da 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 -da. Like, bro, stop that, bro. Stop trying to blame video games for for you know for for the cause of what other people do. That it, it's that's no, 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 no. I, I like come on bro like prime example w when I started playing GTA 5 when I was younger right I didn't you know god forbid thank Jesus I didn't say hmm you know what I can do this in a video game let me go do this in real life no, I didn't uh, like I come on thank god and I didn't think like that but that's how people outside of the video game community would think people would think that oh well it's because of these games like Call of Duty and GTA 5 and Bro, no, it's not, bro. You're responsible for your own, for like, for your own thing, bro. Don't try to sit here and try to blame it on video games. It's they, they didn't, they didn't tell you to do these things, bro. It's you. It's you. You get up and you make the choice to do something horrific, bro. You make the choice. The video games don't influence you to do that, bro. Come on, bro. And if that was the case, we could say a lot of things about music. Bro, music, oh my god. We hear the most gruesome things uh, in, in, in these songs nowadays. But do you ever see, you know, most of us getting up and, you know, and, and, and crashing out and, and you, know, t you know, and doing something horrible? No, bro. So it, it's always, people always, they, they want to, you know, put all the blame on one thing and, and, and leave this one in the clear. Like, it's ridiculous. So, 
And this is why I say I don't think Call of Duty is going to bring it to that extreme like they did the No Russian Mission a few years ago. But hopefully the No Russian Mission is good, man. Hopefully it's good. You know, hopefully. You know what? I'm, I'll am i say it, man. Hopefully it's brutal. Ah, my chair broke. Hopefully it's brutal. Okay? I want it to be brutal. I want. I mean, bro, it's the No Russian Mission. It. Am I asking for it? Listen, now am I asking for it to be like a few years ago? No. Am I asking for, you know, a little bit, uh, you know, a little bit hardcore, a little bit like brute, like brutality type thing? Yes, I am. I am. And I'm not even a brutal guy. Like, I don't sit here and watch like brutal things like on online or whatever. No, I don't like to watch that. But come on, bro. This is Call of Duty No Russian Mission. I got to see something. I, I, I better see something pop off. I better see something pop off. That's all I'm saying. Other than that, uh, shout out to Call of Duty. They, they came through another Call of Duty. I was actually expecting them to miss this year, but, you know, obviously, they, you know, they came through. They're dropping another game, so shout out to Call of Duty for that. Um, and, and now we wait, man. The game comes out November 10th. Uh, what is that? That's, like, about 10, 11 days from now. And um, other than that, man, comment down below what you guys think about uh, this trailer. Shout out to GameSpot uh, for the video. And um, see you guys later for the next one. I'm out. And this video is on the screen right there. Click those videos. And...